Hello and welcome to another AIC video. We're doing a quick video on installing Linux on this ThinkPad T14 Gen 5. I have Ubuntu 24.02 or whatever it is, uh, the latest version, uh, stable version ins uh, installed on this USB drive. Uh, it is a USB 2.0. Uh, my USB 3.0 drives have all died, so I need to get replacements. So it's gonna be a little bit slow, but that's because of the age of the drive. We're going to go ahead and put the USB drive in there and we're going to power it on. Now, I've already done this just to test it, make sure it worked. So I'm not going in this fresh, but I'll walk you through the steps here to get this done. Uh, we'll go ahead and on the startup screen, hit enter. And then we hit when it comes up. Hit F1 get into the bio setups. It's funny, they call it the bio setup, but it's UEFI. So let's go zoom in on that screen. All right, so from here you go to security and you go to secure boot and then allow Microsoft third party UEFI CA. Now by default, this is off. So you're going to turn this on. And if you don't turn this on, you won't be able to boot to the Linux. But if you turn it on, you will be able to. So make sure you turn this on, save and exit. All right, hit enter again. This time we hit F. 12 to choose a temporary startup device. And then we go to the uh, USB Kingston uh, Data Traveler 2.0. And we're going to try or install. And this is taking a while simply because I'm booting from the USB drive. Um, if you were to use a 3.0 drive, this would be a lot faster or an external like SSD or something that goes off the USB-C ports. All right, on this screen, we pick English and next. And just next on this screen, English UK for the keyboard. Then we're going to connect to a Wi Fi and it sees my home Wi Fi network. next we adjust this so just we're not going to worry about updating the installer and we're just going to because we're just trying it but too so we haven't installed it to the os drive it'll be a lot faster once you install it to local disk i again i'm running off this usb 2.0 drive and so it's going to take a minute for firefox to load up here While we're waiting, we'll just do some of the function buttons. So the mute, volume down, volume up, microphone on and off, brightness up and down. I'm not gonna mess with some of the other ones, but so it looks like all the function keys work out of the box. We're gonna skip, 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 start browsing. Go to YouTube. Just bring up my channel here. This is my most recent video. Mute the commercial so I don't get copyright striked on my own stuff. Skip. Unmute it. 
So I'll turn the volume up a little bit so you can hear it. So sounds working, speakers are working, mouse is scrolling. Uh, so uh, Wi-Fi is working, so function keys are working. So it looks like uh, out of the box, everything functions as I'd expect it to uh, with Ubuntu. Obviously this is the only one I'm gonna try, but pretty simple and basic uh, installation process and you should be good to go if you're looking to install Linux on this. You do have to change that one setting in the UEFI um, security settings and you are good to go. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll do my best to answer. I do have to send this laptop back to Lenovo, uh, but if um, you guys have any questions, I'll do my best to answer. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you have an amazing day.